got to give y'all some quick game right quick. Artist. I'm a musician. I'm a drummer. You know, I did the touring life. I have some new singles releasing. You know, I'm a... Let's just say I don't have to go through the game as hard as most recording artists, I would say. So I don't have to do as much as other recording artists. But I'm going to give you all a quick game right quick. Artists, you have to remember that you can sell at any moment. Stop sharing your content or a content that you put on Instagram. Stop sharing that content without putting your music behind that content. You have to consistently promote for your music. It should be a daily routine, like going to take a shit or piss. You should never release, I'm sorry, you should never post any fucking music if you do music. If you're an artist and you do music, you should not be posting unless you're trying to help someone or help a friend out sharing their stuff. The majority of music that should be played on your site should be your music. I don't know if that fucking makes sense to a lot of you guys. But for some reason, y'all do different. I have to lead by example. If you go to Dirty Harvard on Instagram, majority of those posts, you will hear Dirty Harvard music, which is my music, which is what I write. Stop posting content with music and it's not yours. Now, if you're not an artist, if you're not a musician, if you, I get it, cool. Free to do, free to roam the country, do how you feel. But just for the artists, you would find out your streaming numbers would go up significantly. Like it would be astronomical for your fucking records. You would make 10 times as much more than what you're streaming now. If you're only making a fucking few cents now, right? <clears throat> If you're only making a few cents, imagine putting all of your music behind each content that you post on your freaking social media. Imagine how many streaming. Somebody's going to hear it like, yo, I like that. I would hear it and be like, you know what? I like that. Let me go check that record out. It's hot. If it's a good record, it's a good fucking record. Like, stop feeling nervous about sharing your own fucking music. Like, what's the whole point of you doing music if you're not trying to, unless you're just doing it for a hobby? And if you know me, you watch this show, you know I do not like having motherfuckers in the industry who doing music for a hobby. If you're doing it for a hobby, go hang out in your fucking garage with your fucking tools and all your fucking buddies and drink Bud Light and y'all just do this shit as a hobby. But for people like me, we don't want you in our way. That's period. So for the people who does it for a hobby, artists or musicians, if you do it for or songwriters or producers, I find a lot of these fuckboy ass producers out here that be like, just do it for the fucking strength of them. Them. Oh yeah, I got the best beats. I got the beats. Well, how many artists do you got on these beats? Oh, well, I'm working with one artist, right? Well, well, you fucked up. If you just working with one artist, you're fucked up. You should be sending 10 artists your beats so you can spread your name around so people can know your name. Build your name as a producer. And literally, build your name as a producer. Start spreading your name around. Okay, cool. Okay, I get it. You might not get 100,000 people in L.A. or in wherever the fuck, Bofuck, Idaho. You might not get these people to really indulge into your brand. But the fact that you're able to work with a number and numerous of numbers of artists builds your credibility and builds your creativity. It always does. Because you're going to find an artist like, I don't like that. Or you're going to find other artists that like, I like this, I like that. Or I don't like this and I don't like that. So as a producer, you're tailoring your fucking music to, you get what I mean? To be marketable and sellable. So I don't want to be like, Cause I mean, I mean, I be talking, I I be, I be talking direct as fuck to like musicians and artists. Yeah, I I be get straight, I get straight at y'all next, because some of y'all are here because you want to, and you have a love for it, and you have a drive, you have ambition, you have a hunger, you got that beast inside you, you got that dog, right? Some of y'all here, cool, I respect that, but uh, all the other ones. Who are like, oh, I just, I'm just here to hang out and just, and meanwhile, these same people would be posting music and not even putting their own content behind their own music. 
I don't understand how does that anyway. I'm done. People, before we get, I just wanted to kind of help out the artists. Um, uh, gonna recommend the channel, my channel feed bombarded. One video. What's up, my guy? Oh my dude. What's good, Mars? How you doing, my guy? Pleasure, man. Um, he said, agree. So stop posting and sharing before you <laughs> before you might meet thieves like me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if your music is ain't copyrighted, if your music ain't copyrighted and you just throwing music out there, you know, it's kind of fucked. Like you're kind of fucked, but you're not. You know, if you know anything about copyrights, you know, they have a thing called poor man copyright and they have a thing called rich man copyright. So rich man copyright is taking, you know, sending your music up to Sacramento, you know, the, you know, capital have them copyright and they put this whole stamp on it and label or whatever and then there's poor man copyright so whenever i record a record or i'm doing working with my systems it's literally copywriting the time what happened right so you have all these in the database and the metadata metadata what they like to say metadata to prove that this song was written by you which that's a whole big fucking skew to go through so i will always suggest people look when you do the record just send it up to copyrights all right just send the record up to copyright so you can get your copyrights all straight. And then you got to worry about your publishing. You know what I mean? Some of y'all don't worry about your publishing this much. Y'all just want the song out there so people can listen to it. See, that's the difference between motherfuckers who does this, who do this shit as a living and people who do this shit, who do this shit for a hobby. Like if you're just posting your music and then releasing your music on a distro kid or United Masters or whatever, because they're free, only because they're free. And then you go back and read their terms and conditions and you find out what well, fuck. There's a lot of shit that I cannot do because of the terms and conditions. I mean, shit, if your music is, receives a lot of streams, distro kid can literally pull and hold the records and keep the money. I mean, TuneCore has a crazy ass term and conditions where if they feel that your record is not genuinely catching streams, let's say you got, you already had 30,000 streams. And then all of a sudden now you got 2 million streams where TuneCore would say, hey, we feel that that's phony. We feel that that's phony. So we're going to hold your money and we're going to give it to a third party who we choose to give it to really kind of fucked up so people you really have to choose where you putting your things at if you really do this shit if you really do this shit for like you know what i mean like blood sweat and tears that's that that's me it's not it's, this is my blood sweat and tears so <clears throat> but anyway 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 enough of that enough of that enough of that i don't want to go too much in that because i start getting very like i get very aggressive you know what i mean when it comes to this like this topic you know, I get very aggressive because it's such an it's such a very important thing to me that artists don't understand. And and a lot of y'all, I don't want y'all in this industry. I'm not going to lie. A lot of y'all, I don't want it. I don't want you in this industry. I don't. It just clogs up the industry. I know everybody say, oh, the top is very small. Anyway. Anyway, people, let's talk about it. We'll have a great night. We'll have a great night tonight. It's going to be a wonderful freaking night. Hit the like button, people. Hit the like button, share. Also, you know, share with more people so they can join in on the conversation. You know, we're talking about this governor, um, Governor Wes Moore, parting 175,000 marijuana convictions. You know what I mean? Like crazy. That's fucking crazy, right? So I just thought that that was something that, you know, is, you know, before we start the show. I just thought that that was something very, very, very prolific to talk about. And we're going to talk about it. Real talk. The industry is full of snakes and booty hunters. I'm telling you, Mars. Niggas be out here giving their ass up just for a piece of chicken. Like, you only got to get invited to the Grammys. You didn't get a Grammy. So you gave your ass up to get invited to the Grammys. You literally gave your anyway. Let me stop, man. I'm I'm telling you right though, Mars. Like, cause cause I know you're joking, but you're not joking. But I see it so deeply because I'm in this industry. Industry. I've been in this industry since I was fucking twelve, bro. Twelve years old, performing professionally, stages, the whole nine. Been around your biggest stars to your lowest stars. So I mean, anyway, people, let's get into our regular program of the show, and. uh you motherfuckers have a great one. Y'all stay right there. Hit the like button. We'll get into our regular program. 
I just had to come and spill some beans and shit like that, man. I just had to. Gang, gang, people. Ciao.